K S Ishwarappa has uh, decided that he's going to quit. Shrija joins us with the very latest. Uh, Shrija, uh, A N I has uh, the minister, uh, uh, you know, quoting the minister. They are saying tomorrow I'm handing over my resignation to the chief minister. Has he been sacked? Has he uh, voluntarily decided, uh, you know, to resign? What more can you tell us? Well, even though in our exclusive interview, when we asked Baswaraj Bhumai if he is planning to sack his sitting minister, of course there was no uh, clear-cut answer, and also to which we did, of course, question the fact that if there was a pressure from the party high command, because this is exactly what had happened just yesterday, and after which we saw where K S Ishwarappa he came out, uh, you know, in the press conference, also making it very clear. that there is no record to show that he had given a work order to santosh patil or even for that matter the payments were pending so he was defiant he remained defiant until this morning but uh, what we do know of course that the sources within the bjp yes are confirming to us there is a clear uh, you know the pressure that's mounting especially on the bjp government or it, 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 it was clearly today was the clear second day where we witnessed uh, opposition uh, you know taking out in the streets they took out in a march they were demanding uh, you know the resignation of ks ishwarappa so there was uh, you know quite a lot of uh, mounting pressure on the government and yes uh, clearly we see that uh, you know party high commands also uh, decision is this so uh, now we see that ks ishwarappa has once again he called for a press conference in shimoga district now that's his constituency where he has said that he is tendering his resignation uh shrija we're going to try and play out that bite uh, uh, of ks ishwarappa if you could just stay on with us and perhaps uh, live translate it as we play that out on air charadali yaro nanna pedisidare ಆಯಾ ಹಿರಿಯರಿಗೆ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ನಾಯಕರಿಗೆ ಯಾರು ಕೂಡ ಇರುಸು ಮೂರು ಸಾಕಬಾರದು ಆ ಒಂದೇ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ರಾಜೀನಾಮೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಶ್ರೀಜ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಹಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ನಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ and of course he also says that i am tendering the resignation as the minister of rdpr and also panchayat raj but of course going on to state that he will be submitting that resignation letter to chief minister tomorrow so clearly that uh, it is very clear at the moment where ks ishwarappa right now after the mounting pressure that's come on the bjp government he has stepped down from his position as the panchayat raj minister Try and unpack this story because about 24 hours ago, you had a defiant Ishwar Appa uh, at that press conference, categorically stating he is not going to step down. Uh, you know, just a few minutes ago, we've been playing out your exclusive interview with the Chief Minister, who said, "Let there be an investigation." He was completely non-committal, uh, you know, on Ishwar Appa stepping down, saying there's no pressure from the central leadership. What's happened behind the scenes? Shrija, can you hear me? So right now, what we did, of course, witness was Karnataka uh, Minister K S Kishwarappa addressing the media. He announces his resignation. He clearly says that he announces his resignation, but however, will submit the resignation letter tomorrow to Chief Minister. Now, of course, there was a clear mounting pressure, not just on the BJP government. There was a pressure on him as well, because uh, you know, over the last uh, 24 hours that we have witnessed. There was protest. There was protest that was witnessed uh, in Bengaluru as well, and this is in terms of where opposition party one is the Congress staging a protest. On the other hand, we did of course see where the AAP had taken out of the street. Then we also of course the chief, the family members of Santosh Patil, also saying that they will not send the body uh, for post mortem until case Kishwarappa is arrested. But of course, you know, after much uh, you know uh, convincing. we understand that they had sent the body for post mortem but th- just this morning even before the burial could take place there was a confrontation between two different party members of the same family one w- belong to the congress and the other belong to the bjp while the congress party member who's also his family member did of course say that they will not bury his body until he is ishwarappa is arrested on the other hand we also had a bjp member who's also another family member of santosh patil saying that 
things can be sorted out after this as well. So right. this is how the, you know, all of this played out this morning and just hours later, much hours later, even after we questioned uh, you know, Dr. Raj Bomai, asking him very clearly that if he is going to start his sitting hmm. minister, all that he could maintain was that the preliminary investigation is on and it will take its own course of action. Hmm. So, of course, just a few hours later, we are looking at where KS Ishwarapa has now announced his resignation.